Are you the best footballer in the world right now? I think so, yes. In my mind, I'm always the best. I don't care what the people are thinking, what they say. In my mind, not just this year, but always, I'm always the best. I'm always going to say that because we are, I think we have to thinking we are the best in our, our, our area. So in my area, I think I'm the best. What's the least amount of sleep you play the game on? No is, there, is there a story where it's like, you know, no one knows about where you went and played a game and it was so insane for whatever reasons? No sleep. <laughs> you played play a game, game with zero no, sleep. Zero sleep. Zero sleep. It's like, you know, um, kids, you know, Natalia had a certain, you know, health situation or what have you and you're staying up all night and then uh, you got to go out and perform because fans don't know, teammates don't know, nor do they care, nor should they that you've been up all night, you gotta perform, right? And so, um, you, just gotta, you just gotta go to work, man. It's respect, that's, that's it. respect. Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable, uh, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. My ultimate goal is to become a $100 million fighter. I've seen guys like when Mike Tyson and I seen it myself with my own eyes. When I seen that Bentley at the boxing gym, and I seen that diamond Rolex, I said, I want that. And I knew what it took. So I know when my opponent is asleep, I'm out there at four or five in the morning, chopping trees, working. To this day, because I can retire today. I'm well off, very comfortable. But I got the will to win. I heard a quote one time from Vincent van Gogh that really rang true. He said he has dedicated his life to his art and in the process. When I sat and I thought about that, it sounded very familiar. I have given every single thing, every ounce of my life to this craft, to perfecting my craft, and I continue to do so. And in the process, I have lost my mind, but in, in, in a good way, to regular society, to people who wake up at 9 a.m., who clock out at 5 p.m., they would look at me and say, I've lost my mind. But me, I have found it almost. Discipline, discipline is doing what you hate to do, but doing it like you love it. What was that? Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but doing it like you love it. I love that quote. Yeah, and that's what you have to do to be the best. Yeah. If you have any problem, if you had a problem, if you, if you it's just because, Yes, you don't even have to, it just because you eat too much ice cream, I don't want to eat it no more. No, you, that's what this one is. Just something, take something out of your life or put something in your life that's going to improve you. Mm -hmm. That's what discipline is. Yeah. I'm not going to eat ice cream for six months. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to throw it out of my life, but I'm just going to take six months off. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what discipline is. Not, not just taking things away from you, but letting you know you can live without anything. Mm -hmm. You don't need anything. If you pan it down here, you see it's about three o'clock in the morning and there's not a car or a person in sight. If you pan over here, it's the same thing. Not a car or a person in sight. People wanna know where I find my strength at, where I get my strength. I get it from a lot of places, but right now, this morning, I'm getting it from, there's not a motherfucker that's up. There's not a car, there's not a person. Everybody's in their bed, sleep, dreading that it's a Monday. Hate this a Monday. And I'm loving it. I'm loving that where everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. It's not about the running, the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. Stay hard.